tonight we'll be talking about the Nightcore NPB1 waterproof power bank. This is an IP68 rated power bank, meaning it's waterproof and dustproof. You may pause the video to read through the specifications. Right, let's open up the box. Inside the box you'll find a power bank, a micro USB cable, a warranty card and a user manual. There is a section on the warranty card that is supposed to be stamped by the store um, but I think they missed that, that's fine. I still have the receipt so I guess I'll be fine. I've already gone through the user manual earlier. If you'd like to read through, again, pause the video. The main key point here on the user manual is, of course, do not use the power bank to charge your devices while underwater. Why is that? Even though the power bank is waterproof, your USB cables aren't. Uh, as you know, the pins on a USB cable is exposed. It's not going to be waterproof. So it may cause a short circuit if submerged underwater because water is highly conductive. Now let's go over to the actual power bank. As you can see here, uh, it's rated IP68. Uh, body is made out of plastic. Housing of the power bank looks and feels durable. Uh, there are no physical buttons here. It's got a touch sensor uh, that would turn the power bank on. Even without touching the touch sensor, if you plug a device on the power bank, it would automatically turn on. The power bank would turn off automatically if unused. The power bank is very compact uh, with a size of 26.9 millimeters by 102.4 millimeters. Um, so it feels very light. Let's weigh it to see the actual um, weight of the power bank. So that's 106 grams or 3.75 ounces or 0.234 pounds. Now that we have inspected the power bank, let's get these other things out of the way and do the thing that the manual said not to do, which is charging an electrical device while the power bank is submerged underwater. By the way, don't try this as this actually voids your warranty. As I mentioned earlier, the power bank comes with a micro USB cable um, that's got a night core stamp at the end. So this is the cable that we'll be using uh, while it's submerged underwater. As I mentioned earlier, though the power bank is waterproof, the cable isn't. Um, so that slot between the uh, USB port and the actual USB is not waterproof. So water would definitely go in. As water gets into the port, uh, the pins get wet and that would be the cause of a short circuit. So we'd be using my old SJ Cam M20. Uh, as you can see, there's no battery there. So let's plug it in and see if it would work. LED light turns on as soon as we plug it in. So there's power, looks good, still looking good. All right, let's see if uh, the power is enough to actually run the camera. So let me just start the recording here. So I guess we're good. It still works. No short circuit, but like I said earlier, this isn't something that you're supposed to do. So don't risk it. Short circuit may occur here and that would burn the whole battery inside of it. And there's a um, possibility that it might even explode. So like I said, I don't advise this. Let's plug it out and take it out of the water. I don't really need a waterproof power bank. It's not like I'm gonna go snorkeling and charge my phone at the same time. Um, but what I do need is a weatherproof power bank because I do plan to mount this on my helmet when I start doing moto vlogs. If you're recording high resolution videos, your battery would only last to a little over an hour. So I really don't want the camera dying on me while I'm riding. And I also don't like the idea of stopping over just to, you know, change the batteries while it's mounted on my helmet. I also wouldn't want to go through the trouble of stopping over because it's raining and I'm worried about my power bank. The power bank also needs to be small enough and light enough so that I can mount it on my helmet without breaking my neck. And this power bank solves all of those problems. 
by the way this isn't a sponsored video uh, my channel is too small to get sponsorships so with that being said nightcore baka naman baka lang <laughs> Going back to the power bank, aside from the key ring, there is a clip catch uh, that you can push out of the power bank. Three LED lights on means that's approximately 100% full charge, um, two means 70%, and one means 30%. At 100%, this could maybe bring my phone from 0% to about 75% battery charge. That's on a Note 10 Plus. Nightcore also sells this um, head mounted LEDs that you can use on wet con weather conditions and the USB that comes with it comes with a clip and that's where you would latch it. However, since I don't have one of those, I'm really not sure if it makes it fully waterproof. So there you have it, the Nightcore NPB1 waterproof power bank. Hope you liked this video and if you did, please hit the like and the subscribe button. And thank you for watching. Until next time.